everyone. My name is Evie Lupine. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see today, we have a little bit of a different thing going on than normal. It is so freaking hot outside. I think it's 110 and I don't have AC. I have a couple of fans going right now so I don't just combust. It's very loud. Hopefully you guys can't really hear it that much, but that's what we got going on today. And because the heat is just melting my brain and I wanted to just do something light and relaxing, I thought we could look at some BDSM quizzes on BuzzFeed. I have had people ask me if I've taken these quizzes before or, you know, say I should do a video about them for a really long time. So we have five different ones to look at. I don't know if they're going to be good or cringe or somewhere in between. We're going to go on that journey together. So let's just do it. So this first one we have here is called How Far Can You Make It as a Submissive? And I think this one should be a good one. So during this test, you will be presented with a sexual scenario. All right, just non non-sexual BDSM is not a thing, I guess. All right. And your decisions will affect the outcome. But remember, this is based on consensual BDSM interaction. If you're thinking of trying anything BDSM related, you should make sure you've done your research first first, including information about safe words and consent, and make sure you're doing it with a partner who you fully trust. And I actually think that's a pretty good little intro there. I like the fact they, you know, emphasize the consensual aspect of it and trust and all that stuff. I think it's always a good reminder, especially when I think mostly vanilla people would be seeing this. All right. Uh, where's this gift from? What? What is this? I have not seen this before. Matt. All right. Distracted. Need to take a quiz? <laughs> First question. So you've decided to try being a submissive in this sexual journey. We just need to tell you one important piece of information. Your safe word is red. If you want out at any point, just say the word and the session will stop. Now it's time to get going. First of all, your partner is going to take away one of your senses. Ooh, okay, so take away my sense of touch and restrain me or take away my sense of sight and blindfold me or red. Oh, is this gonna be like, they do things and tell you red? Is that the, okay, okay, interesting. I don't know, like, I'm into the feeling of bondage, so I don't know if taking away my sense of touch is like a good, like, way to go for that. Do you mean like maybe like those like myths that are meant to be like sensory deprivation myths? Maybe that's what they mean. <sighs> mm, I like bondage though. Oh, you know what? I just realized, I'm sorry, I'm so stupid. My Again, my brain is melting. I realized they mean that restraining is taking away the sense of touch, which I guess in the sense you can't like reach out and grab things maybe, but okay, in that case, totally. Yeah, restrain, do that. Great. Okay, ooh, how would you like to be restrained? Cable ties. Does it actually use cable ties or is that just 50 shades of gray? I'm not, I'm not convinced about that one. So obviously let's do rope. Ooh, okay. This is like a, oh, this is like a choose your own adventure. Oh, okay. I like this. This is like, you pick different things. Okay. Okay. I'm into this. This is cool. I like this. Your partner takes out a length of rope and orders you to put your hands out. They expertly bind them in a knot. You couldn't escape even if you tried. That sounds like a challenge. <laughs> now your partner wants to know some important information. How high is your pain threshold? Uh, gosh, again, pain is so subjective as I always say. Uh, I'm gonna say average. I feel like that's, that's, you know, it's average. Your partner takes out a spanking paddle and orders you to bend over. You're about to be spanked. You know, paddles are my favorite. Can I issue a complaint, please? <laughs> I would like to choose a different implement. I didn't realize we were doing CNC here. I had no say in the implement. All right. Your partner spanks you once, twice, three times. At this point, how loud are you being? Uh, you know, I tend to be pretty quiet. God, 
what is can someone please explain what is the fascination with nipple clamps if you're really into nipple clamps like please let me know why down below i know i'm not trying to kink shame anybody i swear i just i just every single bdsm erotica like has nipple clamps in it and i i just i don't know why anyways why like i i would be okay with it all for it or red uh, part of me just wants to red because I'm like kind of annoyed that I have no say in this and there appears to be no negotiation happening just to just to be like you don't get to do stuff to me randomly without my you know forgiven consent and knowledge or whatever but just I want to I just want to I want to see where this goes so we're going to say I'm all for it after applying your nipple clamps your dominant lays you down on the bed Am I still in rope at this point? Okay. Their hands start slowly moving up your body until they're at your neck. They then apply a small amount of pressure and you realize they're starting... <sighs> they're starting some breath play. All right. Okay. In order to get through this, I'm just going to assume this is all just pre-negotiated. All right. So just... I'm going to move my hands. Ooh, your dominant tells you to open your mouth. Oh, they're about to spit in it. Okay. Okay. We're into that. So they're choking me and there's a lot going on here. This is, this is <laughs> okay. Okay. We got, we got a butt plug. We got spitting. We got choking. This is, this is, I don't know if this Dom has a clear direction for this scene. I'm going to, can I consult them on their scene design? This feels a little bit all over the place. Uh, yeah, you know, it's fine. Okay. Now we got to, this is just a, how many different types of BDSM you like, I guess. Okay. After using the butt plug on you, your dominant demands you get up off the bed and kneel on the floor. They get a leash out and begin strapping a collar around your neck. Yeah, that's okay, fine. We're going in like reverse order of intensity here, I feel like. Bark like a dog. Yeah, bark. See, it's so easy. Since you're already on your knees in front of them, your partner tells you <laughs> to give some love to their feet. Wow, this is really, we got a whole, we're a whole smorgasbord going on. Okay, yes. Yeah, sh mm. Okay, real life me. No, sorry. In this, we're gonna keep going. We're going down this rabbit hole all the way, baby. I they wanna they wanna do a little water sports. Okay, so they are getting in the tub. All right, go to the bathroom, get in the tub, and receive a golden shower. I hope the rope they're using is a synthetic rope or the natural fiber. They're okay with just like throwing away after this. Actually, you know what? Mm, time out. If they have used a natural fiber rope and it's around my arms and then it gets wet. Oh, that's such a nightmare. That's such a nightmare because it you don't want to mix natural fiber, generally speaking, in water because it is like impossible to undo knots at that point because like the fibers like will swell and it's a whole thing. So at that point, I'd be like, are you going to cut me out of this rope? Like what's going on? We got to communicate with me please mr dom what do we got going on here but yeah we figured that out golden shower time oh yeah oh now i get to orgasm thank you so much <laughs> when the dominant has finished they finally let you climax i didn't realize i was aroused this whole time this this is it's like somebody doing 20 different things to you and being like oh did you come yet and it's like there's been no consistency i don't know what you expected the sex has been pretty intense, but so has your orgasm. For now, though, the session is over. You should probably go and get some food. You need to build those energy levels back up. I mean, eating after a scene, good idea. Yeah, for sure. Water, good idea. Okay, so our next quiz is take this quiz to test your BDSM knowledge. There's more to it than whips and chains and tight latex suits. All right, going to be my wheelhouse. Let's, let's do this. Okay. Let's start out easy. What does BDSM mean? Bondage, discipline, and sadomasochism. Bondage and domination, submission and masochism. Bondage and daddies, sadism and mommies. Ooh, haven't heard that one before. Or bondage and discipline, dominance and submission, and sadism and masochism. Obviously the last one. Ooh, correct. Thank you. All right. When would someone use a safe word? When they want their partner to cuddle with them. When they want their partner to be more intense in the BDSM activity. When they want their partner to be less intense or stop the BDSM activity altogether. Or 
when they want to include a third person in the BDSM activity. I will say, if you go by the model that like green is a safe word, you could use green to say you want to do more. So there is sort of a little bit of an um actually moment, but obviously it's usually when you want to stop the scene. Someone who participates in vanilla sex enjoys eating vanilla ice cream and or having it spread on their body during sex. I mean, <laughs> sure. Uh, usually doesn't get involved in BDSM or fetish activities. I almost... I don't know if I want to say this one, but they... Why did they include this? Has a fetish for only white people. Okay, obviously, it's people that don't normally do BDSM activities. Moving on from whatever that was. Sensual domination involves submitting to another person's wishes and gaining pleasure from it, but there is never any violence, aggression, or humiliation involved. None of the partners are allowed to touch each other. There are never any tools like ropes and blindfolds involved, or the sub has no say in when the activity will stop. Okay, I'm going to assume it's the first one. There is never any violence, aggression, or humiliation involved. We'll get into what I think about the soft doming and the use of that language in some other video, but yes, it is this last one. What? Oh my god, this picture is just disturbing why did they use this as the image i i cannot unsee what i've seen i'm so sorry okay tell us what a scene is oh i accidentally clicked an answer oh no yeah when you seek out a professional help you act out one of your fetishes no when you and your partner role play when you use chains whips and gags on your partner or when you and your partner partake in psychological play without actually having intercourse. Okay, I like that they included that one. They get a gold star for that. Obviously, it's all the above. I just didn't know what I was doing. Okay, the term switch refers to which of the following? A rod typically made from wood that's used for punishment. Okay, technically, yes. I don't know where they're going with this though. A person who sometimes participates in BDSM as a dominant and other times as a submissive. Or when you pause in the middle of a BDSM scene <laughs> to pee, drink water, answer a phone call, etc. Or finally, when during a threesome with one dom and two subs, the dom tells the sub who's watching to switch places with the other. Okay, so I think it's A and B. Because that is a choice here. So A and B. All right. Good to go. Next one. A top could refer to a dom or a blank. While a bottom could refer to a sub or a blank. So. A top could refer to a dom or. I guess probably sadist and masochist. Because that's really the only one that makes sense. Okay. We're going with sadist and masochist here. Ooh. We, do we have to type this out? Okay. The acronym SSC represents a pillar of BDSM practice. What does it stand for? Okay. Safe, sane, and consensual. What? Sorry, give me a second. I'm going to Google how to spell consensual here. No, that's... Did I forget a... Oh, of course. There need... I have commas. Psychoagony is when you reach orgasm through hypnosis, mental stimulation, and fantasy alone, a conversation with a therapist, okay, I hope not that one, controlled stimulation that keeps you on the cusp of orgasm, aka edging. I don't know if edging has a scientific term for it. I legitimately don't know this one. Uh... I'm going to go ahead and say mental stimulation. Okay. All right, cool. I had genuinely no idea. After a BDSM scene, a sub might be in the state of mind known as subheading, subspace, subclarity, or subdual. Okay, subspace, subspace. When a sub is in that state of mind, meaning subspace, it's important for their dom to provide what? Body worship, 
dominant assurance, a reality check, or aftercare. Um, so I think aftercare is what they may be looking for. But I feel like, you know, we could take this one to mean like a check-in. Like check-in with your partner if they go into subspace. You know, communication, always important. If you have not had a partner go into that alternate headspace before, it's a good idea to check in. I'm, I'm assuming they're looking for aftercare though, so we're going to go with that. Ooh, I scored this better than 95% of other quiz takers and I got one wrong by mistake. So, you know, I feel like I'm really in the 99th percentile, honorarily speaking. So, excellent, excellent. All right. Okay, next quiz. Design your own BDSM sex room and we'll reveal how kinky you really are. I mean, tell me more, BuzzFeed. You came into a lot of money recently and bought a new house. It just so happens that this house has a basement and you've decided to turn it into your own little BDSM sex room. Christian Grey who? Indeed. Okay. Inter oh, this is like an interior design quiz. Okay, I'm so here for this. I'm so here for this. Okay, pick a door to your BDSM room. Okay, double doors. Oh, so luxurious. Okay, okay. There's only one real answer here because three of them are carpet and we know how I feel about carpet in BDSM dungeons. So hardwood, definitely hardwood. Okay, walls. Okay, we got white, we got red, we got like a purple, like we got, I guess pink, although the light could be pink, black, and then like clouds. This is hard because... You kind of want to have options, you know, for lighting and mood. I feel like red is maybe a little bit lighter than black and would give you more options if you want like a different vibe. So I'm going to go with red. Okay, yeah, you are going to need something to sit on for sure. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple of couches. There's a, a, a toilet seat. There's a sex swing and like a purple like love like wing. I think wing back chair is the term. I think the middle one may be like a leather couch and it's the biggest and I feel like more room is better. So we're going to go with that. Okay. Obviously you need a bed. Duh. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't even know how to describe these. We got like Rococo, like French suite. We've got a pallet like bottom. I don't know if that's like a pallet board. I don't know what the term for that is, but there's pallet board. There's literally just like a wrought iron bed frame and no mattress. There's kind of like upscale hotel vibes and then like pottery barn <laughs> in like the lower left hand corner. I feel like the obvious answer is the canopy metal bed though. Okay, you don't want to make a mess of the bed and PVC sheets will make cleaning much easier. What color? I mean, honestly, I think I'd probably do like maybe marine leather, like a marine leather mattress and not even bother with sheets, but sure. I think black, gonna, gonna hide the most things. You want to slip into something a bit sexier when you enter the room. What's it going to be? Okay. Latex pencil skirt. I'm 99% sure that's Libidex. I totally recognize that stock photo. Uh, latex, like thigh highs and heels, a latex like bodysuit with boob holes and then a harness and then some kind of like faux leather men's underwear and like a lace hood. You know what? The only thing I even like is the latex pencil skirt. So we're, we're going with that. And you'll need a wardrobe to put these clothes in. Is there a walk-in closet option? I feel like I should, should do that. Which is the closest? Uh, maybe this one, I feel like. I like having doors. I don't want to necessarily see everything at once. Do you want some rope or bondage tape to use as restraints? I don't like any of these, but a black rope probably. Oh, and finally, you'll need something to play with in there. A body scratcher, <laughs> a double cock ring and butt plug, a feather tickler, a crop, a leather gag with dildo harness, and a glass dildo with <laughs> other flogger. Again, I don't... I don't know if these people like get it. I don't know if they understand like fully what BDSM is for and what it can be for. I think feather tickler or no body scratcher. Definitely that one. That's a good one. Ooh, 
experimental with boundaries. That's what we like. We like boundaries. We like being open to things. I, this is a good result. Okay, it says, you're definitely the kind of person that loves to experiment. And for the most part, you're likely to try almost anything once. But you do have your limits, which you won't cross under any circumstances. I mean, it's true. I think that's, that's probably a pretty good place to be. All right. Okay, so I'm not like confident this one is like, a BDSM thing it does say that we're all kinky so we'll go with that it's called these six questions will expose all of your sexual fantasies that's that's a bold claim sir pick a beautiful ocean view this is this from Pirates of the Caribbean like the intro of the first movie okay uh I feel like boardwalk I'm into the boardwalk Let's do that. Okay, pick a leafy friend. <gasps> I love leafy friends. Ooh, I don't know any of the names of any of these plants. I'm sorry, leafy friends. But I, I like this one on the lower right. That's cute. I like the little pot it's in. Pick a colorful crystal. So it's just like 20 different kinds of quartz. Is that, those are my options? I think obviously, obviously. I gotta go with the black one. <laughs> Pick a delicious fruit, banana, orange, apple, kiwi, mango, or grape. You know, none of these are my favorite. If cherries was on here, I'd pick that. Uh, I feel like kiwis or mangoes. Let's go with kiwis. I feel, feel like kiwis seem kinkier. I don't know why. They just, because they kind of like burn your mouth a little bit and they're like kind of fuzzy outside. Like I feel like you could do sensation play with kiwis. Final answer, kiwis. Okay, we got some like stitch fix looking outfits to pick from. Pick an everyday outfit. I I hate all of these. I I would wear zero of these outfits. Which one is least offensive to me, like emotionally? Is I is this one red? Is this uh, can't even tell what some of these clothes are. Oh god, these are all so ugly. I don't even I'm just gonna pick blind. Just I don't even want to know what I'm picking. <gasps> pick a lovable pet. Much better question. Okay, bunny, kitty parakeets snake doggo or turtle two turtles okay but i already have a dog so i feel like i get to pick a bonus pet i'm gonna the bunny is just melting my heart we're going with the bunny the bunny wins pick your go-to makeup look okay god just does the person that makes this have no fashion sense like please just stop yourself immediately we got like an 80s look we got just bare face like very pale nude uh, red lips and nothing else and then like sunset kind of makeup eyes and then like darker eye makeup with pink lips I feel like the, the kind of natural look is the closest I'm gonna go with that pick your favorite dinner oh my gosh pizza pad thai sandwich pierogies lasagna or salad okay pad thai so good if you can get vegan pad thai just excellent favorite dessert cookies ice cream apple pie pumpkin pie cake or cheesecake uh I'm like totally a cake person all the way. I'm so sorry for everyone who likes pies. I'm a cake person. <laughs> I don't even, okay. I don't know how this correlates with anything, but sure. Okay. You like clothed sex. Not sure how it works, but you like getting kinky with your clothes on. I mean, if that means no penetration happens, that's actually the most accurate. So sure. Nope. You don't have to strip your layers off before getting down and dirty. And you don't mind the consequential mess that may come from it. Okay, maybe this is different than I thought. So go on and do what you want. As long as you're safely exploring your sexuality, have fun. Okay, like nice little little lesson at the end there. Sure, if, if having the clothes on means no penetration happens, sweet. Accurate. Okay, last one here. I feel like this one may be kind of long. So it's called eight of the kinkiest questions that are really make you think before answering. One, which kinky story would you rather take part in? I'm a full-time master slave dynamic with my partner. One of my biggest kinks is piss play and humiliation. My fondest memory was having 22 plus men pee on me while I was wearing a cone of shame like how how like how did you get that many people I'm so impressed okay after I'd been peed on my master forced me to sit in the pee for a long time 
before being allowed to shower off. It was definitely one of the hottest things I've ever done. All right, congrats, living your best life over there. Okay, then the next one is, I'm all about kink. I've nursed a grown man like a baby. I've been fisted and then had a penis inserted at the same. How does your pelvis have room for this, man? That, that is impressive. <laughs> inserted at the same time and i've had my vagina stretched with a vaginal speculum all right there's 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 a spectrum going on i feel like neither one of these are like my kinks personally but i feel like the cone of shame speaks to me on a level so we're gonna go with that my girlfriend and i are into cuckolding we met a guy and i watched him fuck her in the ass while i sucked her toes after he came in her ass, I licked it out and we kissed. Five minutes later, she started giving him a blowjob again. He came in her mouth, kissed me, and then spat it into my mouth. There's, there's a lot of moving parts there. Um, I don't want to be the cuckold. That's, um, I, yeah, I'm just not the cuckold. That's, that's my answer. Okay, which cleanup technique would you rather do? Whilst my girlfriend's parents were away for the weekend, we did a bit of naked cooking. She was only wearing an apron whilst I fucked her from behind over the oven. We got Oh no! We got her bodily fluids on the food when I pulled out, but we decided to eat it anyway? Okay, I don't know if that's kink or a health code violation. <laughs> Once, my ex and I were having sex on his couch, and I asked him to come on my breasts. When he was done, I swirled his semen over each nipple and put my finger in my mouth to lick off the rest. Then I said, I'm not cleaning it up. I'm going to leave your cum on me all day. And I did. We went to the grocery store, the park, and then out to dinner. Okay, I'm not going in public. So I guess we're going to eat, we're going to eat the food. Which risky story would you rather partake in? Oh no, this, is, this has consent violation written all over it. My girlfriend's parents were giving me a lift back home from the airport one afternoon. My girlfriend and I were in the back seat. One thing led to another and I was getting a blowjob. It was the quietest orgasm I've ever had. No, 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 no. Can I read out of this one? It was a different quiz. Can I read out of this quiz? Is that, can I have that option please? <sighs> okay. Okay, we're going, we're doing it. I had sex with a girl in her dorm room while we were in the middle of a conversation with her roommate. <gasps> which, I don't wish one of these is worse. I don't know. Oh God, okay. We just kind of snuggled up under the covers, both facing her roomie. Mid conversation, she leaned back and whispered, I want you inside me. I just kind of smiled and nodded my way through the conversation while very subtly doing the deed. I just lesser of two evils, I guess. Just the roommate. I feel like the the girlfriend thing is a little bit more permanent. I feel like and dorm roommates are temporary. Okay, I feel like we're on. Also, the parents thing is is way way weirder. So okay, I think we're on the same page here, internet. Okay, which of these stories would you rather partake in? My girl has a daddy dom fetish. Spanking and impact play are a must, usually coupled with clothespins and nipple clamps. Again, with the fucking nipple clamps. She's absolutely required to call me daddy or sir, and if not, punishment will ensue. There's something amazing about having a person put their total trust in you and let you completely control and use their body. Or, me and my ex had a party, and in the middle of it, we stealthily made our way back to the room, and while we were having sex, I tied her up. When we were done, I left her like that, and then after an hour, I came... Oh no! God! No! God, please, no! No! Don't leave people in bondage alone after a party! And we did it again. Just to be clear, the entire thing was completely consensual. Yes, okay. I was going to say I don't want the nipple clamps, but just you're at a party, you go to a room, you leave her restrained in a room full of like, not a, in, not in the room, but in the house. It's full of strangers. She's tied up. This is certainly the most bad idea out of everything here. If you read this, don't, don't do that. Please 
don't do that. Bad idea. Stay on top Woodhaven. Bad. Bad, bad. <laughs> Daddy Dom fetish it is. Oh my god. 60% of people were like, tie me up in a room and leave me alone for an hour when I'm at a party full of strangers that maybe have not great ideas about consent. I'm just, I'm worried. I am worried for humanity. Okay. <sighs> okay. Next. My mother-in-law is a lawyer and has her own office. Me and my husband had sex all over the place. Her desk, her secretary's desk, the floor, even the copy room. One time, I was on a desk bigger than the others, but my husband couldn't reach me, so we took a big book to step on. When we were done, my husband picked up the book and realized it was actually the Bible. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay, I might have to like this one just because of the accidental Bible inclusion. Or, I fucked my boss up the ass while using a strap-on while we were in his office during the middle of a work day. Yeah, don't have sex with your boss, please. That's not generally a good idea. I once drove 30 minutes to a guy's house with a butt plug in the whole time. The vibrations from the car made me orgasm twice. I mean, damn, that is some skilled butt plug usage right there. I cannot say I've ever had that experience. Or... I put on latex gloves and played nurse to my husband. I gave him a prostate exam and started blowing him simultaneously. I mean, impressive skills, impressive display of skills. I mean, butt plug. I just, I don't, I'm, I'm not into medical play. I'm sorry. It is butt plug all the way. Which person would you rather be? <laughs> Robert Rio, you are the man. We have this thing where my girlfriend dresses as an iguana and i dress as an armadillo oh robert aren't you were just living your best life i'm so happy for you this is like do you remember in bonding where like the penguin guy like found another like penguin girl and like they were furries and they went to go do their best furry life this is like same energy i'm so happy for robert Oh, I didn't think I was going to have to choose between Iguana or Armadillo, though I guess they did say that at the beginning of the quiz. Armadillo? I guess they roll around. Mm, or Iguana. I don't know. I feel like Armadillo has more submissive vibes. I don't know if that means anything, but I guess Armadillo. <laughs> okay, I guess there's no results from this. Just, just take the quiz. And that's, there we go. All right. This took way longer than I thought it would. Um, I'm melting. I'm very, I'm just, I'm melting. My brain, my body, my makeup, everything is just melting. I hope that you all enjoyed this. This was such a beautiful experience of BuzzFeed quizzes. And if you want to take them as well, I will link them below. So you can also take them and figure out what your results are. That is going to be everything for me today. If you like this, if you have not already, please do subscribe because I make videos twice a week about all sorts of kink and BDSM related topics. Sometimes it's very serious. Sometimes it's very fun, silly quizzes like this one. And if you wanna support my channel and help me do what I do, the best thing that you can do for that is go to Patreon. That is what makes videos like this one possible as well as my whole channel and it would really mean a lot to me a link to that will be down below if you already support me over there on patreon thank you so so much it means the absolute world to me and until i see you all next time i hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week Bye bye